I did not study in a school which was a class in Lucknow. It was absolutely third rate school because I had to go to the seventh grade straight. I had no, you see, schooling before that. And my mother said that, look, you have to make it up yourself. What the teachers don't teach, you learn by yourself. Hmm. Now, there were three loss-making companies that I headed. First was this Indo-American joint venture company, about which I mentioned. And every year it was making losses more and more. So when I came into that company, the first few weeks I tried to analyze. And analyze means what? I had to analyze the financial figures. No, I am not a chartered accountant. Today I am able to talk a little bit with the chartered accountants as though I know accountancy and finance. And how did it come to me? Because at that time in the company there was a chartered accountant. And I started telling him that, look, tell me, how do you calculate the cost price? of a product. And he started explaining to me what are fixed costs, what are variable costs, and what is, what all that kind of things you see, the jargons he took. And I would ask him to explain a little more, explain a little more, etc. And then I realized that certain expenses we are incurring is not being apportioned to any product at all. They are kind of overheads which are just hanging somewhere. And therefore, when you see the chief executive asked him what is the cost price, he gave a certain price. But it wasn't the real cost price. So based on that cost price, thinking there is going to be a margin, he had fixed the selling price. Can it happen? It can happen. So, therefore, I recalculated the cost price. Then I also, you see, found that Oftentimes, people arbitrarily fix the selling price intuitively or on calculation basis, making the best projections. And then the loss is coming. So, in this company as well as in another company about whose figures I'll be quoting to you, when I found that on a two crore turnover you have 60 lakhs of loss, what does it mean? On two crore sales, there is a 60 lakhs loss. So, what should be the price increase I should do? Hmm? So, that means 30% you have to increase. But if you increase 30%, there is going to be resistance in the market we may end up selling lesser number of units. Then what will happen? You will still be in loss. So, therefore, it has to be much more than the 30% to be able to take care. So that the next month you see that kind of loss doesn't take place. So these are commonsensical thoughts which came to my mind. But it was out-of-box thinking that don't blindfoldedly think that because a person is an MCOM, because a person is a chartered accountant, what he says must be 100% okay. Is 100% okay only to the extent that you have told him, but you haven't given him the full picture. But look, next month I may not be able to sell so many units. So I increase the price. So how do I, you see, compensate for the margin that I will require? So in working on turnaround, you have to go deep into the each aspects. The, so fixing the selling price was very important. There are companies which sell certain products in which the more you sell that product, the more the losses will be. 
the less you sell those products, the better you will be. Sell other products where the margin is much better, where if you sell more, you will get more profit. Hmm. Now, you have to also think that the accountant does not know the features of your product. With apologies to you people, because you are not explained. It's a salesperson's duty to go and tell about the features to the features to the customer. Now your product may have some special features, because of which you can claim a higher price. So whatever may be the cost, you, you see, fix the price which the customer can pay. And the customer can be made to appreciate. He may not automatically appreciate. And this is what I did in this company. We were the only company which was manufacturing intravenous transfusion solution with vacuum being there in the place where the liquid is not filled up. Normally, in most of the solutions in the bottles, you will see that there, there is a certain portion where air is there. But this American company had specialized whereby it drew out the air while it was fixing the stopper, the cap. So, there was vacuum inside. For bacteria to grow, air is required often time. So this was a special thing and which nobody else in the pharmaceutical market was doing. So I gave an exaggerated view of what it means to our salesmen to go and talk to the doctors and say that therefore uh, this particular process is very difficult you see, to do etc. and we will have, we reject a lot of the bottles if the vacuum is not complete and we test it like this etc. And I showed, you see, how they can test by hitting like this, because when the vacuum is there, there will be a click sound. In the bottle which doesn't have vacuum, there it won't come. And I gave to every one of our salesmen a bottle of our competition product to carry with him, to show the difference. So the doctor himself ties it and he finds, yes, there is a click sound here that is not there. So they get convinced. And so they were paying us 20% more. So therefore our margins will have to improve. Right? And so this was, you see, a thing which I did. Altered pricing strategy reflecting value and features, not comparing with least priced competition products having lesser features. Majority of the marketing and managers and the sales manager would like to sell easily, not exert that much. And therefore, they would like to sell at a lower price. So, as a chief executive, I was fighting against this tendency of our own people to give them the confidence, no, we will be able to sell. If you go on, you see, telling like this. People will, you see, buy at a higher price. And people did try. You might have heard the name of two of the TV serial actors, Rohit Roy and Ronit Roy. You have. His father was my marketing manager here. He had earlier worked for Days Medical Stores, another pharma company in India, who were fighting against my company, Park Davis, by selling the product at half the price, one third the price. But I said, no, that will be their death knell. Because if they are selling it at half or one third the price, it's very easy, you see, to explain to the doctors. The doctor, because they can't, you see, sell at all, therefore they have to do this. Will they be able to continue for the next ten years? I doubt. Create, you see, the doubt in them. Will their quality be as good as what ours is? It is not likely to be. I told them that, look, U.S. pharmacopoeia, like Indian pharmacopoeia now, but I am talking of 
45, 50 years ago, the U.S. pharmacopoeia, you have to follow. And in the U.S. pharmacopoeia, they allow the manufacturer to whatever the label claim is, to put in 5% less, plus minus 5% they will say. And it will be known as still USP standard. So I said somebody can sell it 100 grams they have to put, they have put 95 grams, it will be USP. But if we put 105 grams, we cannot claim that we are putting 105 grams, we have to claim only 100 grams and USP. So there you are, you see. You are spending, you see, how much more? Your immediate calculation will be 10%. But no. 10 on 95, does it become 10%? That again, the minor thing, out-of-box thinking, I gave you, see, to our salesman. The doctor is not just 10%. It's 11%. So they, you see, appreciated that is... People are very good, exact. And they were willing to pay. Chloromycetin was the product of choice at that point of time. So, therefore, by knowing the features which differentiates, distinguishes your product from the others, you can demand a higher price. If I have been and I have seen many of the management institutes which have sprung up. Dr. Bhatia took me around, you see the place. And I think you see that you have an infrastructure which costs more, which has cost them more. But it gives an ambience because of which you are likely, you see, to feel more comfortable. You have to appreciate that. And the appreciation you can give by studying hard, by doing really well, by thinking, analyzing, discussing, arguing about what are the different ways in which what has been told to us can be interpreted. The <clears throat> commodity selling and branded product selling, what is the difference anybody can tell? For umpteen years, rice was sold as a commodity. Chawal to chawal hi hai. Khali thoda naam badal gaya. Lekin basmati hai, to thik hai, haan. Kuch loong ko basmati ka smell achha hai, to basmati lenge. Lekin ab kya ho gaya, basmati mein bhi naam jo hai aagay. Hai ya nahin? And because you see of that Kohinoor brand or whatever brand it is, you pay a little higher. Now, this is what I did in the product here. I saw to it, you see, that the name Megor is given in bold letters. I wrote, you see, in every literature how, you see, the product is different. So it became a brand. People, you see, will prescribe. They will write the 5% exose injection. Brackets Megor. So, like that, you see, the branded product selling, you see, is what I introduced, which gave me a better margin. When, you see, the company decided to set up, they had a certain idea that this is what it will be produced initially, it will be produced later, etc. And to reduce their ex initial investment, they had, you see, put one terminal sterilization facility, which had a limit of the number of bottles that you can sterilize within a day. And therefore you have fixed your maximum that you can do. Now, if you were given today, you have started on a salary of X thousand rupees. In 10 years and 20 years later also it is going to remain X thousand. What will happen? You will be dissatisfied you will be not able to live the same standard. There is bound to be increasing cost. And this is what they did. That look, no further increase. 
So what I did was, firstly, immediately, I had to make profits to be able to generate income, to be able to save, to buy the equipment. So first thing that I did was that instead of single shift working, the sterilizer will work, you see, for longer number of hours. Not just an eight-hour shift. So it will be, you see, better that way. The, then I bought the balancing equipment, one more use sterilizer. Like that in different departments, I went and saw what are the shortfalls due to. Why is it that we are not be able to increase more and more? When I joined the company, we were making a thousand bottles a day. When I left the company, we were making 30,000 bottles a day. With not 30 times the investment of what the original investment was. Only through installation of the balancing equipment. Because there are certain machines which are producing a lot more. But because the further you see it could not be processed, so ultimately your production remains small. By increasing the production, the overhead costs get divided. And this is what happened in the two shift working, this is what happened when we had installed additional equipment. Then I moved, you see, to another company. Within the same Rohit group, the employer was the same, and he found that his engineering company, this was after 12 years I had worked in the other company, he found that this company where I had worked, which had only 100 employees when I came, and which became 150 employees at the end of 12 years, was making the highest profit. They had textile mills, which was employing 3,000, 3,500 people. But the profits that we were making in absolute terms in rupees was much higher than theirs. They had the engineering company, which was make, having 1,000 workers, and it was not even making one-tenth the profit. In fact, they were making losses. So, Mr. Rohit Mehta said, Kya ye sahab, ab aap RM engineering ko samaliya. Mainne ka, mein arman, mein to engineer hoon hai. So, usne ka, nahi, nahi, aap management jante hai, aap kar sakte hai. Kijiye. Char saal se, for four years that company was making losses, and every year it was galloping, the losses was increasing. So I joined the RM Engineering Works. And what did I find? That it was treated, you see, as an outcast within the Rohit Mills. Because its sales was hardly 10% of the total sales of Rohit Mills. So any money allotment has to be sanctioned by Rohit Mills for any kind of investment. The Chief Executive of the RM Engineering did not have the same status as the Chief Executive of Rohit Mills, the parent company. So, within a year, I decided that we have to create another, this as an independent company. So, Mr. Rohit Mehta was advised by all his people, Kyare, you will be increasing the overheads, you will have to have another two chartered accountants, another, you see, people like this, that, etc. The administrative costs will become too much if you have two companies, two company secretaries and what not. So, I told him something else. I said, look, you had two partitions in your family. Now, this is kind of out-of-box thinking that I am talking about. One, when your father died and you took over the entire Rohit Guru. Next, you see, when your uncle's sons came into, of age, they didn't like being a part of the Rohit group. Their cousin's name, Rohit, is there. So you had to partition. Half of your assets you had to give away to your cousins. Then another, you see, partition took place 10, 15 years later, when your brothers, they felt that we want to have independence. 
So the assets got divided into three, and you were left with one third. Now you have Rohit Mills with the RM Engineering only left. Once upon a time, you had you see six textile mills, but now you are left with only one. You have two sons. What will happen? Create two companies, one for each of the sons. Think ahead. That sort of appeal to him. He said, "How will we do it?" I said, "We'll do it." And it became RM Engineering became known as the Rajesh Malabils Limited. We had a public issue and all that you see, and it got subscribed and all that you see that was there. And it helped in the growth of the company in many ways. Not just you see the way of our having the freedom, but also getting more influx of money. Decision making did not get you see divided into those. Who have nothing to do with our kind of business, etc. And uh, uh, we had, you see, the every year two, three, four times the strikes from the labor. We had a communist union at that point of time, C2. And when I joined, you see, the company, they said, "Is that bach ke rahiyega?" उन्होंने अमूल को में जो है ये अतुल प्रोडक्ट्स के जो वहाँ मैनेजर थे बलसार में उनको तो मार डाला चिदम्बरम यूसी वज द पर्सन वो डी डिट करके उनका नाम था ऐसा और वो हम लोगों के यहाँ यूनियन के लीडर हैं बी केयरफुल आई सेट नो प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट डे वेन आई टुक ओवर यू सी द चार्ज The second day, I called him up and said, "Mr. Chidambaram, I am here. I have now the responsibility of looking after RM Engineering Works. I would like you to come and give me advice as to how I should manage this. How should I manage your workers?" So uh, he said. अच्छा अच्छा आई कम आई सेट वेन विल यू कम गिव मी द एग्जैक्ट टाइम प्लीज एंड द डेट सो ही गेव मी अ टाइम एंड द डेट आई सेट कैन यू मेक इट इलेवन ओ क्लॉक प्लीज सो ही सेट ओके नाउ वेन ही वुड कम टू द फैक्ट्री द थाउजेंड वर्कर्स विल लीव द जॉब एंड गो टू मीट हिम नाउ ही डेंट रियलाइज दैट ही इज कमिंग एट इलेवन ओ क्लॉक विच इज आवर लंच आवर So, if the people leave their machines at the lunch hour, will the production stop? No, it was ordinary. It will in in any case stop. So, there is not going. It is not going to affect my month's production. Hmm, that is one thing. Second thing, I told you see all my supervisors that ask all the workers to assemble outside my office. At eleven o'clock, because we see the number is coming. Now they were, you see, happy to come. If I had not sent, because we see the number is coming, they may or may not come. Kisli aane ka hai? Kya baat hai? Karke wo baat karenge. To wo ho gaya. To wo sab log wahan bahar aake khade. Ab chidam ram sab aare hain. Aaye hamare paas aaye. Baithe. To maine kaha ki dekhiye, ye log sab aaye hain. Aap unko zara address kijiye. Now. Uh, और मैंने कहा कि देखिए हमारा ये ये गोल है हमने ये ये किया है अभी तक ऐसा ऐसा है हमारा बैकग्राउंड एंड आई वुड लाइक यू सी दैट दीज वर्कर्स गेट पेड मच मोर देन व्हाट दे आर बट फॉर दैट दीज आर द 